Today is a very big day because what are we doing, Christian? Cutting the wall down. <laughs> He's right. So today we actually are cutting our wall down uh, into our new room. So we just got back from Lowe's from getting a bunch of things that we need for that. And uh, there's one thing in there though that we need to get out for John because it's his very first one. So you guys wanna go get John and- uh, I wonder what it is. Yeah. <laughs> So the kids are getting John. I'm out on the front porch. You can see our new room behind me here. Uh, but we've got these buckets here for uh, all of our stuff that we bought at Lowe's. And <laughs> we're gonna be getting it out for John. Do you guys see it, what it is? Yeah, it's like a belt, whatever, a belt thing. To hold oh, it how'd it. you guess? Cause it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is. So, dad got one and John got one. This is John's very first tool belt. So yep, that and that. Now you can carry your tools around when you help and dad. Yeah, now I get work more. <laughs> you actually love working. Yeah, dad. Yes. So um, yes, I think this one is for no, did we get two of those? We actually weren't supposed to get two of those. We were only supposed to have one. Okay, but we we can take that back later. Anyways, that and the belt, and then uh Sean got this one. What is this? With the belt. Oh, this actually goes over this bucket right this here belt is like so cute. and you can Shoot carry your tools here. in the bucket and on the sides which Come actually on. is really handy look at this belt i love this belt it's that's the one that dad got he really so likes cute. the soft leather stuff yeah it's like leather but it's also like a really cu cute print okay. oh yeah you like that I, yeah i never imagined i like something that dad liked yeah i guess dad's fashionable <laughs> yeah um you guys say he definitely likes fashion when he was younger or something he like actually that. likes it and it's an adult too but really? usually we don't dress very very nice because we're always busy working. And because I out glam everyone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> okay, so back here is our pantry and we are going to be cutting through the kitchen wall uh, because we are cutting out our door and we're moving our window from the kitchen to the edge of the pantry today. Can I show them what it looks like inside of it? Because there's like this little window thing and it's like so cool. Can I show them that? Yes, and I want I want you to put your tool belt on and let's take a look at it. I have some very exciting news. This right here. Are you wondering why I'm showing you my wall? <laughs> this is where my new pantry is going. Sean is outside moving things around right now because we are installing a new pantry. All right, so here we are. This is the first step. We have the floor removed. Now this is at a slant here. Um, and so Sean is gonna raise this end up so that way the floor is level. But as we're getting into this, you know it always happens. We figure out that we have more to do. So look at what's happening here. Oh, we even have the kids helping. <laughs> The railings are gone. So we have one more, two more what down there to do. So we are taking the railings off and the whole front porch is coming down. What do you guys think about that? The, I think it's gonna feel a little weird. I think it's so exciting. But I'm excited to see what we add on. Yes, me too. Alright, let's go outside and see how the kids are doing. only about 100 degrees out. Um, we have been in the shade underneath most of the time. Okay. 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 So you can kind of see what happened. This whole thing was, um, should have been probably the pillars or the beams, structural beams holding the roof up should have had footers put directly underneath those. but. Uh, <clears throat> they probably didn't think that the weight of that roof was going to amount to much, but um, it did. And over time, it uh, warped and sunk in those areas where those those pillars or those beams are coming down from the roof. Um, so that's why it looked so funky. Yeah. But it held up for a long time. 
everybody does as good as they can and uh, we will try and do as good as we can as far as this edition goes so we'll see how it goes so I'm actually really surprised I came out this morning uh, to do the birds and we have this little guy over here that the kids I think this might be the one the kids found look at digging holes around our tree um, although this one looks much smaller than the ones the kids found I think like almost half the size I swear uh, of that one but it is over here I like it has no idea I'm even here um, and it is tiny it is probably about as big as maybe oh I don't even know maybe it no maybe not even as big as a 12 ounce pop can so that is how small that little guy is just really tiny but I've been doing the birds for like probably the last 20 minutes and he's been over here just digging holes and looking for bugs and has no clue I let the birds out seems to have no clue and I know I'm pretty sure they're blind and deaf but I do think it can hear a little bit I whistled at it and it kind of cocked its head oh no summer you be nice <laughs> hopefully the cats won't uh, harm it because uh, it's really kind of a cute little guy he wants to know what's going on I think he can tell something's going on around him but he's not quite sure what exactly is happening <laughs> It's kind of neat how they just kind of burrow through things and they have these front claws that are really huge. But that is our baby armadillo and it apparently has decided that this is where it wants to live. And I can't believe with all the commotion that goes on here uh, that this is the spot that he has picked to hang out. Hey Christian, what did we find? Um, a Della, a baby Della. Yeah, we did find one before, oh, but this no. one's way smaller. I, 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 I saw that one. Don't know if you guys can see it. Looks like it's oh, 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 not oh, that oh, old. Theo. You oh, can't oh, see it, it's right Theo. there. Uh, draw, draw a bike. And Della. it is just so oh, cute. Nice. So that was the armadillo. Now, right now, it's under our black car the Volvo I think and Jade right now is trying to get it out because mom and dad have to leave soon so it doesn't get run over <laughs> hi so Charlie was eating and she said I'm all full mom and she said can I give this to Logie and so we said sure and what are you doing I'm feeding him. Are you feeding him? Yeah. Look at how much he ate. Whoa, he ate a lot. But uh, what's really cool? What is he telling you? He was telling me that Was he telling you he wants more? Yes. So let's see if he'll do it. <gasps> more! You tell her more. Can you tell her more? Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Say more. Boy. Tell her more. Can you do more? More. Okay. Oh, he says. <laughs> oh, he says. <laughs> Yay! Can you tell her Look more? More. More. Say more. <laughs> I'll see more. More. He's gonna be stubborn about it. More, more, more. Now that he's on camera. I, I know. He was doing it over and over he's so again. So shy. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, more. He wants more, Charlie. Oh, no. They are feeding him with a careful. You're doing so good. Mom, You're really a great, a good big sister. Mom, I feed him. Um, uh, I do I feed him always sometimes? You can help me feed him, sure. Yeah. I feed him always sometimes. Okay. You want more? More? Okay. Good boy. I'm really good at okay, get him some more. Uh, good job. I'm Elena, the hairstylist. Oh no. <laughs> this is what Alina does to Logan's hair when she gets a hold of him. Do you have a mohawk? Look at that do. Whoa. Logan. It's so wild. Do you like it? <laughs>
Yeah, he yeah. looks like Jack Jack from The Incredibles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now most of you guys know that <laughs> he's gonna eat you. Most of you guys know that uh, Christian had a speech issue, and um, Logan seems to have the same thing. Mm -hmm. He does not talk at all, except for says Mama and Dada. That's about it. We've heard him say bye now once um, on camera, and then he has just now he started saying more why he signs, but that's. Yeah, good boy. Get him off. But that is all that he says. But now Christian, he didn't talk until he was what about two years old. This one yeah, was and crazy, and then he, he was a bottle mouth. Yeah, and now he we can't get him to be quiet. Yeah. Like and that is true. Him. You too. We can't get you to be quiet either. And you didn't start talking until you were about two and a half. See this boy. <laughs> it has been a couple days since we started working on our pantry area. I am I'm like so excited. I like can't even express how excited I am to have this pantry. This has been the one thing I feel like other than probably more bedrooms. <laughs> but uh, one of the things um, that I really need, oh my gosh, look at all of our chickens running after me. Um, one of the things that I really, really need because I have like six more boxes of kitchen and nowhere to put anything. So uh, we are going to make a bunch of shelves in there. I've been looking um, at Pinterest for ideas. Uh, so we have some really good ideas, I feel like. I wanna show you the progress. Um, I have been inside all day. I really need to pull my hair back up into a ponytail. Uh, I have been trying to figure out um, our insurance. I cannot find anybody around here that takes our insurance. And it's so crazy, the limitations that you have living like in a small town like this, uh, there is, you have to drive either into Corpus or Victoria and they're both like almost an hour away. And it's so frustrating. And so I've been doing that all morning and also working on our school schedule. So we are still homeschooling. We homeschool all summer, but we have been doing only three days instead of five and uh, we still do unschooling so we're unschooling uh, but that does require I, I make the kids like stay on a schedule because I think it's a it's good to learn how to stay on schedule how to have a routine I think that's all part of a learning process and it's good to have that when you become an adult so uh, I've been working on their schedule though and what uh, everybody the next grade they're going into because we'll start that probably September 1st uh, and I want to make sure that I have all my stuff ready. So I'm working on the schedule and the worksheets and all the unschooling stuff that we're going to be doing. So oh and do you guys do you like my cover here? This is the one I was talking about that is my absolute favorite one. So I just think it's so cool it's like this muted um, flag color you know so anyway, I really love this um, but let's go up front here and I will show you the progress uh, that we are making on the pantry so we have the walls up now you can see on both sides and they are making a space there for a window so we are going to take this window here which is in the kitchen and we're gonna move it out here to this main wall now instead. You can see Rosie and John, they have been offering a ton of help. So they have been very helpful in this process. We do have the floor in, we have it all leveled off because this deck right here was uh, really slanting down quite a bit. They did that I think to get the water off, um, but it was a little too much. So we have leveled out the floor and that space right there is a 10 by 10, which is what our new pantry is gonna be. We are gonna make the pantry a pretty large walk-in pantry. So it's, um, like I said, 10 by 10. And we, I had talked about doing it a little bit smaller, but um, we just wanted to make sure we did it right. He said, Sean's like, do you think you're ever gonna say my pantry's too big? And I said, no, probably not. So um, he had a good point there. <laughs> so we are gonna make it a 10 by 10, which is a really nice walk-in. Uh, we might be able to fit uh, a fridge in there if we wanted to, or we can make it all shelving. Um, one of the things we really want to get is a deep freeze because when we start uh, processing all of our birds we're definitely going to need a spot to put them so and uh, the deep freeze will be the place I am really happy like I'm thrilled that we're finally getting this started we you know had been kind of so down and uh, just not making any progress we just couldn't envision adding on to this house or doing anything to this house and uh, I really wanted the barn dominium but 
we kept saying, you know, it's going to have more of an impact if we start remodeling this house uh, instead of doing the barn dominium. It, you know, it will make an instant impact here. So we just decided that that was what we were going to do. If we wanted to later, we could always use this as a second house or a guest house or an Airbnb or rent it out or whatever. If we wanted to make the barn dominium, we could always do that later then. So this is what we are doing for now. And I have to say, um, I'm, I'm, one of the reasons I'm so excited, I think, is because, you know, we just were kind of not sure if this was the right place for us, I think. We have really been down by the heat. I know we used to get the blahs for um, our Nebraska winters, and somebody was mentioning here that it's kind of like the Texas summer blahs, the heat blahs that you get here instead of the winter blues. And I think that's kind of what we had. We just, it, it's been so hot here, you know, being um, 108 or 110 or whatever every day for, uh, what has it been, you know, a little over two months and you really don't want to even want to go outside. It just is kind of yuck. And they're, they're working out here now, but uh, luckily they're in the shade underneath our front porch so um, oh you know what I almost forgot to show you anyways my point with that was we started being like man is this really even the place for us maybe we shouldn't be here in this massive heat and maybe we should you know maybe we made a mistake and maybe we should be somewhere else and uh, so you know we were just kind of going through all this processing in our brains about um, uh, you know did we make the right choice and what are we doing and then we finally were like you know what this is exactly what we wanted it is like the perfect setup the house the barn the land the pond the everything is absolutely perfect the only thing that you know well one of the only things there's a couple things that we don't really like um, here but the biggest thing is really the heat but you know half the year it is you know really nice here so we just kind of had to get over that I think before we could finally just say you know, this place is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted other than the heat. And uh, let's move forward. And at that point, we were finally able to envision uh, the house remodel. So I want to show you, I forgot one other thing with the house that we're going to do. Here is the pantry part. And over here, you see, we need to rip off the whole front porch because uh, it is uh, not doing great. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're actually going to build out this way and we're going to make a whole entire large living room addition area and maybe even a, le a little extra space over and above the living room area. So we're adding the pantry on first and then this part of the house will actually stick out way farther than the pantry. We have talked about adding on another area beyond that pantry and uh, making something else but uh, we're not 100% sure if we're gonna do that right now. We do know we are gonna add on to the front and make a living room, and then our living room area now will become part of the kitchen, so we will have a much larger kitchen area. And we are gonna go, eventually with this roof, we are gonna go way up, and we are gonna have like a 16 foot ceiling, I think and that way we it will let in lots of light we have this amazing view over here we'll be able to look at uh we'll put windows along here and windows along here and i just i cannot wait to get started on it but i really you know ultimately you really want to see the finished product so i have it all out in my head and i think sean has ideas in his head we really like contemporary and we really like farmhouse so we are trying to figure out which one of those we prefer doing um, or which one we want to do most on this house here. One of the great things about the Texas Sun, if I'm trying to look at pros, is it makes some really quick tea. I know a lot of times in the South you have sweet tea. I don't like sweet tea, but I do love myself some sun tea. And even some of the kids really like it. Uh, Sean likes it a lot. So we are brewing ourselves some iced tea. Well, right now it's hot, but eventually it will be iced tea. 